Okay, everybody, today's view from Medellin, Colombia. I'm in a mall, but wait, there's more. It's just a mall, right? That's what it looks like. Nice little mural up on here, and here comes heaven. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Absolutely heaven here. Look at this. It looks like Brazil, except no offense to my Brazilian friends, because I spent time in Sao Paulo and Rio. This is absolutely heaven on earth here, the way this looks. Absolutely gorgeous. So, um, I can just tell you that here, I'm gonna try and go in. Just really, really beautiful here. So I'm gonna zoom back out, go to normal speed, and then I'm gonna walk here, right? So you guys get to see Medellin firsthand in the mall. So really, really cool. Uh, I try not to like uh, deliberately get up in anyone's face or whatever, even though you could say it's a public area or whatever, but I really wanna respect people here just uh, unbelievable nice mall very very cool lots of restaurants really cheap too you know if you want to come here on vacation and do stupid stuff you're gonna absolutely subject yourself to violence um, see and I'm just gonna say it it's absolutely like zombie land with drugs with people uh, high crime um, if you're doing bad stuff, you want to come and like do nightlife with prostitutes and that you're going to get jacked up. You want to do drugs here, very possible you'll end up in a, you'll, you'll never be seen again. So I've had different incidents happen to me. Um, even when I was filming, I had a guy pull knives out. That's up on my channel also. So just a very, uh, can be in a very precarious situation fast here. So keep your head on. If you want to come here with a husband, wife, kid, something like that, you stay to mainstream places, no issues. Most of the people are really, really nice. Uh, to give you an idea, this is uh, about $5.50, uh, six bucks, something like that, right? So again, I'm just not gonna film anyone uh, deliberately. So just all over. You know the area here so you have uh, looks like cinemas up on the top here that are really nice of course they're all in Spanish if you don't speak Spanish here you're going to um, you're gonna have some trouble here if you're just like como esta donde vive something like that you know cuantos ani tu tiene very basic uh, it's gonna be hard to get around here so um, you know that is an issue so lots of different foods. The only thing is that the foods are here are not spicy. So if you want to bring your own uh, things, even something like Tabasco sauce is generally not around. So that kind of looks like a subway or whatever. But a lot of the Ma and Pa places are really nice. You can get uh, you can get really good food, uh, cheap. There's excessive amount of beggars uh, that that are you know people. Younger people or even middle like don't don't start using drugs. You're gonna be in trouble. Like it's just a total freaking zombie land in some areas. I mean it looks like some areas in the US where you just have tent cities and things like that. So there's movie theaters up there, but really, really uh, really cool. If you wanna have a serious relationship here, good luck. Uh, it seems that uh, people are more invested into money than uh, serious relationships. Uh, believe me, I tried. I've been on dates here. It's just people are like after money. And don't say it's like all other countries. I've been in 25 countries. I'm out of the U.S. so many months of the year. So I see it, right? So I just see it. Regular clothing stores. Um, Medical procedures are a lot cheaper here. Vending machines. So let's take a look at this, right? 
So it's like 3,900 pesos to the dollar. So that's like not even 50 cents for Oreos, right? Just a lot cheaper than the US. It's a lot harder to make money here. It's 1,300 pesos uh, a month. Uh, no, 1, uh, 1. 1.4 million is minimum wage here. So it's maybe 300 bucks or something for a minimum wage here. So, you know, it's really, um, it's really tough. I don't know why they don't have more ATMs, but this is standard practice, just lines of people. So also if you come here, they're gonna ask you for a conversion rate. I use Schwab, so I don't pay the conversion rate uh, on ATMs. It's, it'll say, hey, do you want us to use a conversion rate? Don't do it, accept it in pesos. It's gonna be a lot cheaper for you. You'll save probably about 8% on your money. So if you're getting out a thousand bucks, you'll lose 80 bucks just accepting it. Summer is 8.5% plus a service charge of like 20,000 pesos, which is like five bucks. If you take out a thousand bucks, you're losing 85 bucks. So if you have Bank of America, you can get currency uh, in advance. I've done that before. It usually takes about a week and it's free if you have uh, uh, an account there at least if you have I have decent size account so maybe it's just I don't pay any fees so you know so I would bring money here at the airport uh, you can tra you can change some money you're gonna lose some money but like any airport you're gonna get the worst exchange rate so if to my Philippine listeners if you're going into Philippines you can use portside money changer uh, my friend Apple owns that and I met her actually doing business with her really great woman and uh, her fiance Ray they'll come and meet you at the airport you see there's a dog there it's normal here you can just bring your dog here nobody seems to care uh, they don't have stray dogs and cats on the street I think I saw one the entire time here uh, this is a lotto booth so I'm just kind of kind of walk around so let's go back to the relationship issue, right? So if you want a serious relationship here and you said, hey, I'm a good guy and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be really nice to my girl or whatever, they, they don't really care. They're not in love here. I don't even think there's love in the country. I think it's just gone. They're more interested in cash. Like, I'm, it's like, I'm not even talking, I'm just talking normal people. It's like, I think love in the country is just gone. If you want a Colombian girl, good luck. At least in Medellin area, that's my opinion. That's what I've seen. It's just lacking uh, any type of love whatsoever. You see all the pigeons down there? It's really sad. So you'll say, oh my God, there's all these hot girls or whatever, right? Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, they'll go out with you. They'll expect you to buy them stuff and do all types of stuff. Like, it's just... It, it, it might take a day or two. Sometimes it's very fast uh, for them to uh, do it, but you'll get it. You'll absolutely get it. They'll just come and say like, hey, uh, go out. So I, I really think it's gone. I don't think there's any hope for it. Um, an ATM that's not being used, that's unusual. But it's probably got a high fee. Again, if you travel a lot, you Schwab. It's a stock brokerage account. I have it, uh, I don't pay any fees for it. I get free conversions. If I get a 20,000 peso charge, it's automatically refunded. You don't need to call them. Um, it's, it's a really, really good card for traveling. Just get it in the, uh, the national currency and then what they'll do with that is they'll convert it at a rate that you lose not even a percent. It's almost exactly like wholesale. I, I think that, I don't know if that's for all of Schwab. I mean, I have a, a big account there, so I don't pay anything. They automatically refund everything. I pay whatever the the international currency exchange rates are. I mean, you just don't lose money with them. So wonderful, wonderful uh, thing. Now, you, you might see somebody promiscuously dressed here. It's just part of the culture. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're doing anything uh, bad or anything. Uh, or they're engaged in something. Look at a beautiful mountain. I mean, look at a view here. 
looks like a church cathedral down there. I'm gonna zoom in on that. That looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous scenery here. Let me zoom in a little more. Just really, really nice. I wanna see it catch these mountains a little bit more. Now I've walked to the top of one of these and I'm gonna tell you that I'm older, but I'm still, I can still get around like fine and I got super high energy. It's, it's exhausting to go up, absolutely exhausting. So I'll take one look around here but really, the, my biggest disappointment is uh, any type of a serious relationship. It's just impossible. You want to compare it to, example, the Philippines or whatever? Yeah, there's a lot of people that want money. But to really have a serious relationship, I, I, I don't even think there's love in the country. I think it's just gone. It's just rare. There might be some there. I might be wrong, right? But as far as getting one, I, it, you know, it's like looking for a freaking unicorn here. Um, Clothing stores are about the same. So that's 59,900. 59, so that's about 15 bucks right there for shirts. So that's commensurate with uh, US prices. Uh, if you're in Thailand, Bangladesh, Philippines, Cambodia, Laos, it's certainly cheaper. So I just kind of dimmed my camera down for that because I, I just want to show now if you want to buy something like levi's now this isn't levi brand but if you want to get something like levi's you're going to pay like a hundred bucks for a pair of jeans that's really um you know that's the reality of it that's really nice that's actually a real oil painting there some nice artwork here Really nice artwork, actually. Oh, wow, they're on the other side, too. But that's pretty cool just to have oil paintings all around. Really, if you don't have money here, like, you'll never, like, you'll never have love and... It's, I don't even know. You won't even be able to buy it. Like it's, I, I really, I, I've even talked to Colombians here, girls and guys. They say 80 to 90% of the people here cheat. Uh, in the Philippines, I would say it's up as 75% of the people. Um, Philippines is the second worst country I've ever seen with cheating on each other. Uh, not my thing. I've never had a person cheat on me that I know of. Uh, I've never cheated on anyone. Um, but you can almost expect it, sadly. You know, and that, that's the sad reality. So if uh, any of these people in long distance relationships, I, can, I almost guarantee your, girl, your girl's cheating on you here. Uh, or in the Philippines for that matter. Gary, that's not fair. Not all of us are like that. I didn't say all of us, right? Colombians also say that. Not all. Don't judge me. Right, so. It's, again, it's really sad. Like if, you, if you're an American and you see these videos and somebody, oh, the people are so nice. Like the Philippines, people are so nice. Many of them will just friend you and then they'll ask you for a loan later. It's just nonsense. Uh, of course, a loan that you'll never see the money back again. So I see it. I see it on a regular uh, basis. And um, you know, so you just gotta really be careful and uh, you know, keep your eyes open. All right, so we'll go down here on the lower level now, getting ready to go out on the street. So, just some maintenance issues, some lights are out. Uh, is this a third world country? Absolutely not, not at all. So you see like this, you have a stretcher, uh, that's ready to go like you won't see that in, in like Philippines for example, right? You don't see that uh, Ambulances are better equipped If you're in uh, example if you're in the Philippines So that's where we're at Adventure Central commercial if you're in the Philippines for example uh, uh, a Ambulance will come out with no oxygen 
and you'll just die because the people aren't uh, the people aren't trained, and that's that's sad. So I was uh, in Pampanga in a riot. Uh, traffic was getting jammed up. I pulled up to where an accident scene was, and there was police there. And I ran out and I said, "I'm U.S. military." Went to the uh, went to the victim. He was hit by a bus. Grocery store, obviously. He was hit by a bus, and he was dead. But I had to figure out whether or not I was going to bring him back. But unfortunately, with oxygen deprivation to the brain, it was impractical for me to do so. So I red flagged him, and then I even like I was so sad, like I cried because the police were there and they didn't help him. Why? Because <clears throat> the law in the uh, Philippines says that police are not allowed to help victims of traffic accidents. So it's, it's absolutely insane. Also, I can help somebody at a traffic accident and then I can ultimately be sued. And that's just not realistic, right? So then I'm scared to, uh, as a good Samaritan, to help somebody even with my medical training. So I literally got back in my car and cried. And the girl I was with said, why, why are you crying? I don't know him. I said, because he died unnecessarily. It just doesn't make any sense, right? Like, no reason. Check out these flowers. It's actually pretty cool. So there's no reason for people just to die like that, right? Pretty cool on a tree, right? It's just sad. You know, I had a, a, a wife and a kid that I saved in Thailand, and... I'm on the road begging for people to put me in the back of a truck so I could keep the woman alive. But nobody wanted to put her in the truck. They didn't want to get involved. So the truth is, is I don't even know if she lived or died. And I remember getting in the car and my body went super cold because of uh, my nerves. You know, uh, it, it's, just, it's just, it's a massive adrenaline rush like that. You know, and I worked on her for 15, no, probably 25 minutes, keeping her alive. And I don't know if she made it. So, uh, check out the little baby taxi cars. Right, it looks like right out of the movies. So, these are normal, the bus is here. Um, taxis, make sure you use a meter here. And I could say that around everywhere. I've got ripped off in the U.S., Spain, Thailand. So I generally avoid it. Philippines, I won't even use tricycles or whatever. They scam so ridiculously bad. And of course, you're going to hear the Filipinos, not all. But of course, that's the reality of it all, right? So these are like travel tips, right? So the meter sometimes are at the top of the pillar on the uh, windshield. And sometimes they're not, right? So... The guys that are working, that are want money, I deeply respect them, right? They're working, cleaning windows, trying to do stuff, sell stuff. But as far as just people begging, I have no interest in supporting that. Because then you're rewarding negative behavior. And, uh, you know, I worked very hard for my money. I came from absolute nothing in my life. So... Like a lot of guys that go into military or girls that go into military, we're from broken homes, jacked up pass, whatever. I went in and started taking college courses and got out and uh, went to college, put myself through college, not with my uh, family's help. Just didn't happen that way. So I'm just gonna walk around here, right? There's a hospital somewhere near here because there's people in hospital clothes. I'm telling you, to walk up that mountain is hell on earth, right? Lots of really nice bakeries and whatnot here. Hola? Okay. So he's just uh, watching for my security. That no one takes my phone. So I was wondering if he was uh, people's pe people pizza. It looks like Route 38 in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, in the U.S. But it's probably not as good as their pizza. Although their pizza looks really yummy here. 
So if you try and get good pizza in Colombia, it's really difficult. So this guy's selling uh, drinks and things like that. Very normal. Hello, senor. Um, five for 2,000. So that's uh, five for uh, 50 cents. So you get 10 for a dollar. That's a very good deal. It's muy barato donde los Estados Unidos es muy caro. <laughs> See? So, uh, you know, five for five for a dollar. These are great for shakes. You still even see some green here. Uh, really, really good. You can eat those. And they're dull. Look at that. They're actually dull, right? So, so uh, it's good. Gracias, you know. So, uh, really, really cool around here. But, again, you would never have somebody up in the U.S. say, be careful. Somebody's going to steal your camera, right? You know, this guy's collecting cans and bottles. But, again, I respect people for that, right? He's not begging for money. At least, you know, that's not what you see, right? Um, very, very cool. So I'm walking around here. They generally don't like you feeding the pigeons. Listen, if you see two guys come up on a motorcycle, be really careful because you're getting robbed. So right now I'm basically, uh, um, you know, putting myself out there. So this is really cool. You say, oh, it looks safe. Okay, good luck with that. Two guys on a motorcycle, I'm telling you. That's your last thing you're going to see. So I have a really expensive camera. One of them ones with a you know, 400 millimeter uh, Japanese lens and high-end stuff. Some of this food here that you'll see is really good. You'll see from boiled eggs to uh, empanadas, things like that. The street food is really good here. Uh, never had a problem, never got sick. I did get sick at uh, a hotel. I was drinking um, from the water fountain there. Let's keep walking. And then I'll get a lot of views just for the girls, right? So in GHL, uh, Medellin in the motel. Wanna make sure I don't got a tag and I don't. Because again, I'm broadcasting like I'm a foreigner, so that's going to be really dangerous by itself. But anyhow, I was at that hotel for a while, and uh, I started drinking out of the water fountain, and boy, I just kept getting sicker and sicker. Or I, actually, I was filling uh, my glass out of the hotel. And then eventually I just stopped, because I said, hey, maybe it's a water. It's a high-end hotel, right? You should be able to drink the water. Nope. So all the American haters that say it sucks and all that crap. No, you can actually drink the water in the U.S. Unlike almost every country I've been to other than some European countries. You just can't even drink water anywhere. That's the sheer reality. So U.S. is still a wonderful country. Yes, I hate Biden and a lot of these bullshit policies. But um, the fact is it's a really good country in comparison. So... Just gonna kind of walk around. There's bars on the windows all through here. Looks like a pretty old structure. They do cutting, welding, things like that. I got eyes in the back of my head, don't worry as I'm filming. So people say, why are you doing that? It is what it is. I like adventure, what can I say? So, little alleys. Some of these places at night turn into clubs and all types of stuff. But again, you want to come here, you're putting yourself at risk. So he's uh, doing what's called stick welding. It's all 220 volts here. Uh, it's single phase 220. I'm not sure if it's 50 or 60 hertz here. But um, so he's, he's using a stick welder on all that. So a lot of... Uh, a lot of places, but there's, you know, there's a zombie over there, right? Gary, that's insensitive. I'm telling you like it is. So this is University of Antioquia. And uh, 
This is Medellin. And yes, this is uh, Don Pablo Escobar's uh, place here where he started. His sister would go to my hotel um, every week. Why was it uh, GHL Motel? And I've stayed there for six weeks. But, you know, it comes in with bodyguards. You know, and um, you don't think that that family still got control of stuff in one way or another. I'm telling you, go badmouth them here and see what happens. You will not have a good time. It's not, not cool. When I was here, they had some an American um, take pictures near his grave with gang signs, and the police picked him up and deported him immediately and black flagged him from the country uh, because your life's in danger. He helped a lot of people. He's done much, you know, I'm just going to say he helped a lot of people here, families, uh, all types of different things. Uh, soccer teams, hospitals, medical bills help so many people here and there are people that are loyal if he helped your dad when he had cancer you don't think you'll be loyal to him even in his death so this is a I don't know if this is a current um, a current university or not Look, even a girl on the sign's hot. Right? If you want to... Jesus. Louise, look at that. If you want to see the hottest girls in the world, uh, you'll either go to... Uh, you'll either go to Venezuela, Colombia, or Philippines. You could say Thailand, too. Thailand's got some absolutely gorgeous girls. Uh, my ex-wife was... Uh, well, not wow, she is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, um, so you have to watch when you're walking, right? Because some of the uh, there's just holes in the ground and things like that. This is a really old building, right? So he's going to see if anybody wants food or whatever like that. So that's kind of interesting. But again, people that are working, I really respect, right? It's. Uh, you see, everybody's got bars on the window, but that's not most of Colombia. Philippines, it's it's much higher uh, crime in a different way, right? So, uh, if you know, as far as violence here compared to Philippines, much higher here. And Philippines has three times the murder rate that the United States does. So, it's just. Um, different as far as personal crimes and scams and things like that I think that uh, it's scammy in both countries but relative to each other um, you know who knows who knows so this looks like another school or something here they're probably trying to size up my bank account I don't know who knows so let's see very cool but really, again, they're different countries, right? Which one would I rather feel more comfortable in and have more fun? Absolutely Colombia. It's not crowded at all. Beautiful flowers in here. Colombia is just, uh, I guess that's a school. That's a university in here. I don't know. So it is currently being used. It is currently being used. So very, very cool. Wow, that's some really uh, neat buildings. Wow, there are some really cool places. I didn't expect this video to be this long, but hey, let's keep walking. And I know the guys are going to be saying, look at hot girls. So, it's just, they're everywhere. Just absolutely everywhere. That looks really cool. Let's just keep walking. We'll just keep going. All right? 
Vámonos. Ah, la pandaria. So I know what that is. That's a bakery, right? I took uh, German and Thai in school. So I speak a little Portuguese, a little French, a little Italian, uh, just a wee little bit of Lao, uh, Isan, which is a northern language of Thailand. Of course, English is my first language. Um, Thai, I can read and write to very basic standards. Uh, like one to five one speaking uh, I'm not a one I'm a let's say a two um, it's a really really difficult language I'm God gave me a really good brain but honestly I'm humbled by it so I don't know what this is let's go over here it looks like some type of cafeteria I was gonna walk over here but not really that's a cafeteria or something Oh, that looks like an active hospital. So, just kind of cool. See, not happy that I'm filming, not like, hi. Wow, there's an Escobar. A funeral home? All right, we may have to see that. I would be really interested in that. You might be really interested in that too, if you're a viewer. So you're probably saying, Gary, go that way. But let's see. Let's see where they're at. So here again, there's bakeries all over. The stuff's fresh, really nice. Um, it's okay. Permiso, permiso video, senor? Okay. So I, again, I wanna be respectful. It's a private business, so I asked him. He said, fine. I'm just gonna skip over the patrons. But it's very, very inexpensive. You almost don't even have to uh, ask how much anything is. The chicken in Colombia is fantastic. Um, really, really good. And of course, they have drinks and beer. You're allowed to buy beer and alcohol everywhere. Corona, by the way, is about two bucks a bottle for the big ones. Uh, and generally, they'll have limes, but they will say limon. Limon. So, uh, that's it. So just different chips, snacks, things like that. Just different flavors. Same if you're in Thailand or Philippines. Uh, it's different different flavors. These are kind of decent. They're a neutral uh, one. I've had those already. So I'm dipping my camera down again to respect other people. Gracias, um, señor. So let's take a look over here. I want to see the funeral home and let's see what's going on over there, right? If it's very interesting, what I'll do is I'll cut the video and start filming fresh. Because I have an interest in graveyards and funeral homes. Right, like in Philippines, they have all types of different customs for, uh, for graveyards and whatnot. So that's kind of just a different, totally different animal. I well, see it's it, generally it's like well maintained. There's your apartments up here, and don't uh, if you if you're here you can sit out. People aren't loud and boisterous. They don't do karaoke at three in the morning and rude behavior that I would consider as normal in the Philippines. I can't stand that. Uh, there's just lack of respect for loud noises. There's a little hotel there. Uh, it's two thousand an hour, which is fifty cents an hour. Uh, no, 50 cents an hour. That's moto. I'm sorry, that's for a bike. Uh, Banos is 500 pesos, which is, uh, uh, let me see, that's 12.5 cents. It's actually 13 cents uh, for that. So, um, you know, but they well, they need to cover the thing. So they usually they'll have somebody in there. Uh, so, you know, the, he's got a bike rental place. And let's see what happened here.